Hey guys, I'm Francois from Production Music Live. In today's video, we are going to take a look into the Everything Bundle Edition 21 from PML. And I have this pack right here in my browser. And as you can see, it's organized into different main folders. And this is after downloading it from the website. So each single one of those main folders is zipped in the downloads and you can download them one by one. And overall, I think we have like 35, 36 gigabytes of data. So it's quite a lot of data and it's quite a lot of content like this template right here, for example, from the Masquerade pack. But how is it organized? So we have um, a top folder here saying Ableton templates and project files. In that one, I've organized the techno house, melodic deep, melodic techno templates in a different way this year. So it always will say something about the genre. But what I found helpful because I'm using them a lot is this part here. So I'm putting in information what software has been used to create this template. So I don't have to load it up and wait with the Ableton loading time uh, until it's loaded up and telling me, well, you know, you don't have Diva. So I'm putting in this template here, for example, this Ableton project file, fully arranged track. All of these are fully arranged tracks like this one needs Ableton Live 10 or higher and Diva. And if I'm not sure, if I want to load up this one right now, I can quickly check the preview. And I always know which one I want to load or don't want to load. So for example, let's say Greed Melodic Deep here. How is it done? I have a version with Live 9 or higher and massive, but I also have a version with Live 10 suite, no third-party plugins. How does it sound? The Everything Bundle this year is just an insane deal. You know, it has so much value and there's so much quality in there with the courses and with the latest artist corporations this year. They have allowed us to go into, to tap into their workflow, into their techniques and get the best out of there and also into the pack for you guys. So you can also use the samples, use the racks and the workflows and the automations and the presets and really speed up your process and have state-of-the-art sound. So I think this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Feels kind of weird to give it out like that also, but uh, that's what we are all about at PML. You know, we are trying to help you guys work better, work faster, get your ideas out quicker and, you know, get value from this. Okay, so we also have the Ben Boomer templates here and, for example, the uh, Niels Hoffman template here. Uh, what is this one using? It's using Ableton Live 10 and Diva. How does it sound? I want to stray now From all the noise around Feel the light on my mind Another thing to note about these Ableton project files, when we are doing them, when we are preparing them, we are, try we are not really printing audio all over the place. We are trying to make everything editable here. So for every single sound, I usually can go into the MIDI, change the MIDI. I can go into the processing chain here and you know change the preset, tweak it to my taste, change the whole processing chain behind the preset or behind the synthesizer and tweak it to my needs. Everything is editable. I have like a bunch of editable albums here and I can tweak everything. So we are not printing out audio and you know, you have to cut audio over there. So the main idea is use as little third party plugins with Ableton as possible. In general, we are only using Ableton Live plus one extra plugin. Um, so it's very handy for you if you're moving on to a new laptop and you only have Serum installed, for example, and Ableton, you can already start using this one here, for example. Nothing will not load. Um, well, if you have Ableton Live 10 or higher in this case, and you can tweak everything. And it's also designed in a way that these mixer faders are usually still free and all these... Um, 
you know, automations and um, level automations will be done with utilities. So you can quickly drag it over to, you know, a different project and it still works in the same way. So that's how I want to work. That's how I find it really useful to work with Ableton project files to speed up your workflow. And that's how I designed this pack also for you guys to use it as well. So going on. So lots of fully arranged Ableton projects. That's like um, several albums of fully arranged Ableton projects in different genres here. And you can drag and drop them into your Ableton or also sometimes maybe you just want to use this vocal now that we just heard. You can open them up like that and, you know, take these vocal parts out of this template file here and drag them over and load them up into this existing Ableton project here. So you just uh, make it a bit smaller so we can see it if I quickly solo this. See no clouds for miles. On a stray now. From all the noise around. So now I have this vocal right here in this other Ableton project. And that's actually also how I use Ableton project files or templates. Sometimes I'm I want to work on a new track, but I know, hey, I actually already have this drum groove. I made it half a year ago in this other track. So I'm quickly loading up the drums group of this other track from the Ableton project files. That's a workflow for me, for example. You can use it in many different ways. So uh, PML courses, more than 30 Ableton live courses and also general courses about how to write melodies, harmonies, arrangement, groove, making tracks from start to finish in Ableton, mixing and mastering. All these courses are part of the Everything Bundle as well. You can check the link in the description if you want to see the full list of included content. But these courses you will find on our teaching platform. If you go through our website, also you get a link if you download uh, the Ableton, the Everything Pack or the Everything Bundle, you'll get a link to your course logins. Then we have MIDI packs in here, a collection of PML MIDI packs from different packs. Um, you can drag and drop those MIDIs right into your project file right here. For example, uh, chord progression like this one. Just drag it on a MIDI track. I need to go down here to actually load up a MIDI track. And then I can load up this chord progression and I have it right here. And I can tweak it and use it as a starter for ideas. I'm never saying, hey, use this progression and don't add your own stuff. This is always giving you starting points. <laughs> Obviously, you can get creative afterwards. But some people kind of like having a grid and working from there and then totally changing everything, which is possible with this approach right here. So also preset packs included, like for example, the collection of PML Diva preset packs here, Circle Sounds 1, Circle Sounds Volume 2, and Bound to Divide, Nils Hoffman, Tim Engelhardt, uh, the Diva preset packs that are included in the Organica pack. So you can load up all of these Diva patches into your Diva if you have it. And we also have presets for Wavetable, for Serum, we have uh, lots of preset packs here as well. Melodic House, Melodic Techno, Techno Pack, Techno Volume 2. You might be wondering, weren't there some other preset packs for Serum as well? Yes. Everything that hasn't been produced in this or last year, I've put into an extra folder called Legacy Packs, where you can find also Ableton project files. It's kind of repeating the structure here, but I'm just sorting this into the legacy packs where you also get preset packs for Serum and Silent One, for example. And then you can uh, get the Beach Styles and Future Bass and all these packs. But we haven't done them this year or in the last one and a half years. So everything uh, that qualifies for that will be found in the legacy packs. If you're looking for the more recently released stuff, you'll find it in those folders here. And it also includes sample packs. Uh, the core edition of PML sample packs is resting in this folder, PML sample packs, with the whole edition of PML, the premium one to five. 
the Premium Volume 5 being the last edition uh, that's been added to it with lots and lots of one shots and loops. <laughs> And we'll always say the BPM here at the end to quickly identify if it will fit into your project. And if we go over to PML sample packs with the team, you'll find lots of sample packs that have been done by our producer environment or team. Like for example, Dark Techno sample pack is done by Stereo Voltage and there are uh, sample packs by Tim Engerhardt and by Niels Hoffman here as well by Florian Busse, for example, is the Percussive House sample pack. Very um, unique pack in a way. Maybe we can find something quickly. So lots of ideas you can generate very quickly with these packs here. And then we have um, the sound packs together with artists for the most part. And this is something we've been working on for the last year, getting artists on board with PML and getting their signature sound into a sound pack where you often have Ableton templates MIDI files and an extra sample pack in the style of this artist at your fingertips so you can really start with this type of sound if you want to use it as a starting point for your own sound and then go into your own direction for example. And we have the one with Ben Boomer for example. The latest edition is the Chots pack right here with the label Steel for Talent and the artist Chots, a great pack uh, because everything works really nice together here and is super groovy. We also have the Organica pack in here, which is Organic House done by Yannick Mounts and Braskin, two producers from Berlin. And they included a sample pack with great samples. For example, I don't know, the metal loops are super interesting. Yeah, so you can imagine you can come up with some very interesting drum sounds here. So this type of stuff can be found in the Organica pack. We also have um, Diva presets in that one, but I've sorted, in this case, I've sorted the Diva presets also into the preset packs folder, so it's easier for you to find those from that are, might be included in some packs here in the sound pack section. And then also Ableton project files or templates in here as well. For example, Horizon, I am okay, Oblique and Destabilize. And for my workflow, um, it's kind of nice to be able to access those templates here, but also to simply go to the main folder and access them over here. So you'll find all these um, organic Organica uh, templates here as well, because then it's easier. You know, you have two angles how you can find them. And I actually find it really useful because sometimes I'm just going to templates and I want to have a quick overview of all of them and don't want to go through some, you know, deep subfolder structures, for example. So destabilize. So this is using Ableton Live 11 and Diva. Horizon by Yannick Mounts is also using Ableton Live 11. In this case, Suite, because some you know, plugins or uh, Ableton effects are being used there as well. And Diva. Mm -hmm. So 
um, you can load these up and generate nice ideas for your own tracks or maybe just use the hi-hat parts or the hi-hat group and load that into a track. If you're more like the musical guy that comes up with a melody uh, with a melody and a chord progression really quickly, then you and, and you struggle with drums, then you might add in some drums of some of those templates and then you already have something going and then you maybe can exchange some sounds and give it your own twists. If you are, for example, good at drums and not as good as melodies and chords, you can do it the opposite and, and go from there. So it's this is how I'm using this. And sometimes I quickly need to make a track that's percussive house or something, or it sounds like kind of music or something like that. Um, and then I will go to our Afro house thing, for example, because I have a foundation there already, you know, and I don't have to start at zero. Sometimes that's helpful if you want to have a quick workflow and just get some ideas out there and not build everything completely from scratch in that moment. <laughs> So I can quickly pick up this drum groove here and then jam something on my keyboard or something like that if I want to just work on melodies or on the main idea or something uh, at that moment. Okay, so this is the overview over the content of the Everything Bundle for you guys, just a little broken down so you can see what it looks like inside. A template will always be a fully arranged track in Ableton, like this one here with everything labeled and everything properly, you know, arranged over time. Also stuff grouped into groups so you can easily pick them up from the browser that's like the main one of the main ideas here i can always go over and go into yeah purple diver here for example and i think that's even the one i'm, I'm loading up here and then you know i see the drums group i see the effects group i see the bass group the vocal was from another uh, template we just dragged that in before and I see the synths group. And if I only want to work with the synths group, I can copy it over into a different track and go from there. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you're looking at getting the Everything Bundle, now is the best time of the year to get it. It's at the best price during holiday season. Comment below if you have any questions about the bundle or about how to use the packs. Subscribe to this channel, leave a like, and I hope to see you next time.